calls it her joy. Tonight, we get to introduce you to one woman who spends her days holding, feeding, and cuddling newborns. Mm. She does it at Winnie Palmer Hospital for Women and Babies. News 6 Morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor shows us why she's been doing this job for the past 17 years and this week's Getting Results for Your Health. Hi, sweetheart. For some, hi, darling. Caring is a warm hi, welcome. There we go. A hand to hold, or maybe a small snuggle. But for Pat Jordan, cuddling isn't just an act of kindness. We just let him know it's going to be okay. It's a calling. Our, our Gma, our Grandma. Our Wow, you have lots of names. I have lots of names. I have lots of jobs. Pat has six grandchildren and nine great grandchildren. But the babies most people see in her arms aren't hers. These babies are some of the youngest patients inside the neonatal intensive care unit at Winnie Palmer Hospital. I love my NICU. I love my babies. I love my nurses. It's very emotional. <clears throat> and I cry a lot up here. <laughs> I, I guess they kind of call me the, the crier of the unit. She says she cries because every year about 150 babies born at Winnie Palmer have neonatal abstinence syndrome, a condition the otherwise healthy newborns never had the chance to fight, caused by opioids. These systems, the you know, mom system absorbs the opioids and then it gets into the babies and the babies then have to go through what's very similar to a withdrawal. It's an increasingly large problem with our our population. It's very, very difficult because, um, sorry, are very hard to take care of because they're extremely needy and um, we just try to hold them tight and, and cuddle them and, and let them try to get over it. Dr. Douglas Hardy tells us in severe cases they have to treat these babies with more drugs. But people like Pat soothe and care for them. Just being held by a volunteer is a tremendous improvement. Um, it keeps the babies calm and does a lot of things that ultimately benefit the baby's care. And if we can keep the babies calm, then we don't have to use drugs. And I talk to them and I hum to them and I sing to them. And and they don't seem to object most of the time. And her hope is simple. I want them to feel good. I want them to feel like a normal baby would feel. Oh, I sing everything from Rock of Ages to You Are My Sunshine, just depending. We have a whole repertoire. I want them to feel happy like my grandchildren are happy. And, and uh, so that's the emotional part of the job. And whether it's singing or shedding a few tears, Pat will always be known for her cuddling. I think you'll, you'll just keep coming back? As long as they'll have me. <laughs> she is a little gem. Yes. Oh, yes. my. I want to mm -hmm. hold Miss Pat. No, or right? just hug her. Yeah. I love that. And, you know, we've seen the studies all the mm -hmm. time how babies respond when they're held and they oh, have to touch, that of skin course. to skin, yes. even, you yeah. know, interaction. I mean, as so. adults, we like that as of well. Course. So imagine just being a cuddled baby. and yeah. comforted. A friend of wonderful. mine had her babies there and she remembers Miss Pat and was talking about how wonderful oh, she is. Yeah. 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 We love you, Miss Pat. Mm -hmm. All right.